for today's discovery lesson. Our learning intention is, I am learning that sound can make vibrations. And to be successful, I will be able to describe how a sound is made, and I can show how sound can be seen or felt. I'd like you to pause the video in just a minute and watch this amazing video about visualizing vibrations. And then I want you to come back to this part of the lesson. So what is sound? I'd like you in your workbooks to write down what you think sound is. And when we get back to school, we're going to add that to our VCOP board. Pause the video and write down what your answer is. What is sound? Great job. We'll review those soon enough when we get back to school. Perhaps you can take a photo and submit that to us as well so we can give you some feedback on Class Dojo. So here are some fun facts. Did you know that flies cannot hear sound? The loudest natural sound on Earth is an erupting volcano. I think I'd like to hear how loud that really is. Although, I don't think I want to be that close to an erupting volcano. Lightning makes the way for us to hear thunder. A bolt of lightning will heat up the air particles very quickly. And then these particles are pushed outwards and make a huge sound wave, which is what we call thunder. So every time you see lightning, you're pretty much guaranteed thunder will be coming next. So for today's activity, you're going to need a few things. You'll need a bowl. I wouldn't recommend a glass one. Go and ask mum for perhaps a plastic bowl or a aluminium bowl like this. Some glad wrap. And then some sort of sprinkles or rice will work. Now, there's a rule here. You need to put all these three things together. And once you've done that, you are not allowed to touch it with your hands. So you're going to stretch the glad wrap over the top of the bowl. And then on top of the glad wrap, you will pour some rice or sprinkles. And somehow you have to make the rice or the sprinkles dance. Now the clue here is to think about sound vibrations. If you've achieved it, or perhaps you don't achieve it, you can send us a dojo with a photo and tell us what you did and what happened. Have fun. So to be successful today, you'll be able to describe how sound is made and you'll be able to show how sound can be seen or felt to give you a little clue for the experiment. You might have to make a noise to make your, your rice dance.